Welcome students to this tutorial video. This is the fourth video in under the static equilibrium uh, tutorial series and this is a question I left you guys with last time. Hope you guys had time to go through it, attempt it. If not, you can pause the video and try to solve the question. So um, if you do that, you, you understand what the question requires us to do. We are pretty much given all the dimensions, the distances, uh, the two weight forces there. And uh, we are told to find the maximum force that the biceps uh, muscle exert on the forearm. All right. So now here's a game plan. For you to solve this question uh, correctly, have everything you need, it's best to draw a free body diagram of uh, uh, the presentation there. You draw, you come up with a free body diagram. It will help you to see all the forces that are acting on the system or the angles that are not shown there. You see them so that you put them there they will help you as you are solving then one thing also convert uh, the centimeter to standard uh, unit of uh, uh, length meters you put uh, all, 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 all the centimeters there you convert them to meters then yeah so when you do a free, a free body diagram i already did mine you should get something like this you have your two weight forces uh, down here the 19.6 i already I did the multiplication since uh, we had the uh, two kilogram there two times 99.8 gives you 19.6 then the 25 there uh, for you to find the weight force remember it's mg so you do 25 times uh, 9.8 which will give you 245 so these are the two weight forces then when you resolve all the forces there you see to say there's an additional angle of 15 degrees uh, right about there then you have the 90 degrees down here and uh, this is basically how your free body diagram must look like. And I've already converted the centimeters to meters, as you can see down there. Yes. So now we go back to the concept and uh, static equilibrium. So this is a system. We'll consider this as a system that is uh, at equilibrium. So for a system to be at equilibrium, there are two conditions that are favorable for, for such. There's uh, The first condition is that all the forces, either in the x, and in the y should uh, the summation of these forces should equal zero okay then the other condition is that uh, the summation of all the torque all right should also equal zero so we don't need any rotation and we don't need any forces acting on the system for it to be what in equilibrium so now in this question this kind of a question we're going to use the second uh, condition for equilibrium and that will be what the summation of torque equal in zero so summation of torque okay should be equal to zero so the formula for torque is simply torque being equal to the perpendicular force all right uh, multiplied by the distance this is the formula for torque all right so in this question we're going to to choose uh we'll say the downward forces will be negative will give us negative torque and the upward forces will give us a what a positive torque all right so with, 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 with that said we can go into the solving you guys will comment in, in the in the chat session how you went about this question uh, we can we can start the solving now so using this um, second condition of uh, uh, a static equilibrium the summation of torque being equal to zero we should have something like this so we'll now start solving we'll say we, we need the force what we're trying to find is this force there this guy there we're finding this force so instead of using this 105 uh, degrees we'll use this 15 which you'll see properly once you resolve or once you come up with this free body diagram we have a 90 degrees there and we have 105 so for you to get this angle in between simply subtract the 90 from 105 okay so now we we'll say our f which is the force we're trying to find uh, resolve it in the x-axis so cos 15 we are using the 15 degrees multiplied by as I said earlier on torque is force times distance so if you see the distance uh, this force is at is at this distance the 0 0.05 meters so multiplied at 0 0.5 0 0.05 meters now as we had uh, agreed earlier on we we'll consider all the forces acting downwards to be negative okay so meaning we have two weight forces of which they will both be negative so you can simply do this you can simply say plus or can say this is simply say negative then you put them in cross and say the 
multiplied by 0 0.15 which is the distance and that plus 245 multiplied by uh, the multiplication sign there uh, multiplied by uh, the 0 0.35 okay and that should be equal to zero so these are the talk that we are we're dealing with so this side of the equation we'll try to uh the, the, the value of this side who when when, when when you do the multiplication we'll try to take it the other side of the, the equal sign so we we'll have this we we'll have f cos 15 i forgot if cos there okay cos 15 multiplied by 0 0.05 and that will be equal to so when you do the 19.6 times uh, 0 0.15 then plus 245 times 0 0.35 you get a positive number then you multiply it by the negative out there then you get a negative number so when it crosses the equal sign there will be both uh, the, the number now turn into a what a positive number and when you do your multiplication correctly, you should get this value, 88.69. All right. So now we're trying to find for F. We're trying to find the force. So for us to find the force, we divide both sides of the equation by this expression. The cos 15, uh, sorry. Okay, cos 15 multiplied by 0 0.05. This, this other side also. So this side of the equation to cancel out. Then... This side of the equation also bring it down 15 multiplied by 0 0.05 okay that's a 5 there so when you divide there 88.69 divided by cos 15 multiplied by 0 0.05 you should get your your force let me use a different color your force should be 836.4 newtons so what does this tell us this force that we have found is simply as a question asked us we have found the maximum force that the biceps all right that the biceps okay exert on the forearm for this person to be able to carry this maximum uh, mass of 25 kilograms so this is how we're supposed to do it the first thing you're supposed to uh, put up a free body diagram to help you see all the forces and all the angles that are not given then you needed to use the second uh, condition of uh, equilibrium for which is a summation of torque it being equal to zero for you to, to solve the question so in the chat section you guys can uh, come through with your contributions and how best you solve the question or your views you can like and comment and subscribe to the video for more future videos to come so in the next tutorial video, we're going to consider this question. Uh, this is question um, 9 in the tutorial series, uh, in the tutorial series under uh, static equilibrium. So this is a question that we're going to solve in the tutorial, in the next tutorial. You guys can try out the question.